Hey people, what's up? What's up? It's Philip Drogini from Moscow, Russia. And with my friend Stan, he wrote his name in Russian. Don't be scared. He's not a <laughs> uh, 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 some somebody. Uh, mm, well, we, we did a couple of videos already on Yellow Badge uh, and another channel. So we just started. But anyways, today we're going to talk about mm, more footage that is concerned to be an evidence or not. So it's just the principles of how to um, relate something to be relevant as an evidence in the mud flood theory thing. So I know, Stan, you've been filming a couple of uh, days and uh, found uh, some interesting facilities in your place. And we've been talking about Königsberg and Kaliningrad. But I also wanted to show you first my old video just to get started uh, and to understand the relevance of what's going on with this, you know, selectiveness of exact building or facility to be concerned as something as evidence, right? Okay. okay. Sure. Let's do it. Um, this is my old video. I hope the sound is good. Uh, the signs of the buried mud flood buildings. So first of all, you have to uh, figure out that it's a ground level and uh, the ground level is higher than the level of the first floor right now. So, so this probably could be half buried windows or a little bit of steps to, the, to down like this pizza thing. And, I showed it in this video that it has also a basement floor with the windows that are bricked up. This is another sign of the buried windows uh, of the buried buildings. And so this is a good sign to feel. So the bricked up windows, which are on the ground, the surface, like here, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And being some somehow lower than the ground level outside so like little steps or something windows or a little bit of steps to the to mm. down like this pizza thing and i showed it in this video that it has also a basement floor with the windows that are bricked up this is another sign of the buried windows uh, of the buried buildings and so this is a good sign to film uh, such evidence Okay, so the next uh, thing is uh, you have uh, like maybe a basement even lower, so it's like two or three uh, underground floors. So maybe the level is like more than uh, three or four meters. So uh, in fact, this uh, place has like six meters deep or even more because um, I didn't have any measure devices, but uh, according to the number of steps and the visual uh, visual signs, I, I would say that it's like this. And also, as you can see, um, it... over here, look at this. It is just signs that it was replaced mm -hmm. during reconstruction. That it's like this. And also, as you can see, um, it has many signs of reconstruction. And this place is actually famous for uh, a lot of undergrounds. So this is Salyanka district. It actually has a bunch of undergrounds. If you look up in uh, in Wikipedia, or whatever official source, you'll find out that the place has a bunch of underground facilities below, even below these underground facilities. So it's like crazy. Okay. That's totally evidence. And it has like maybe a whole neighborhood has all these undergrounds and they got well known. And I've showed them a couple of times during Solanka. So this is me filming from the uh, from the bottom of this cafe. As you can see, those windows could be uh, used in the previous times as real mm -hmm. windows, but now they're a little bit extended. 
not very much, but they extended for like 50 centimeters, something like this. This is an actual, actually another example near my office. I just want to show what we call So you can see one side is not excavated over here, where is snow mm -hmm. and uh, those two little trucks here. Mm -hmm. And the other side is excavated due to exposure of this place being a park or area. So you can understand how this area uh, looks like. So we have like this park here. It's called the mountain park and we have this museum here also buried from this uh, excavated from this side as you can see um also we have uh this building this is um like quarter mile from the place and you can see also excavation from the side so it could be used as the, as, as the originally designed as the original first floor another building close so the excavation marks like here because you can find the picture the same picture of the same place like in the 90s and it mm. and it wasn't excavated in the 90s only uh, like uh, in 210 somebody who bought this building and made it an office center so they like uh, have some facilities for rent here and for commercial purposes and they extended and excavated this site from the side so it could be used as the, as, as the originally designed as the original first floor another building close to it look at this uh, bricked up windows here so it looks like totally excavated and rebuilt building here but actually i looked uh, in the windows when it was uh, dark uh, and the building across also has the signs. So it's like a huge, huge underground facilities there and maybe even more. This is the factory. I was uh, at the Google uh, YouTube conference also saw these underground floors and uh, bricked up windows here. So bricking up windows for no reason is also the sign of the mud flooded building. So nobody would brick up windows, you know, it's yeah. just ridiculous. So these are just the signs of um, mass flooded buildings. In fact, you can walk around in your city, you find out many shops and cafes on the first floors and uh, different uh, half buried windows. But you have to figure out that that also could be a basement floor. So all the signs needed are Know, explained by me a couple of times in the previous videos so uh, good sign is when you have it across the street uh, from each other and when you have you know, both sides with the same uh, evidence so this is also a good sign but still uh, it's better to uh, go uh, somewhere check it out by yourself film. yeah so it's it's a good sign but it's not a total evidence Okay, so as, okay. as long as you have like two buildings of a different period and construction, different shape, and each of, every of them has a level of the same underground facilities, that's also a good sign because, you know, just uh, to be more specific, I would add this uh, to stream this video. somewhere in Iran I believe so the the floor totally collapsed and you see this underground buried facilities here okay I have already filmed a bunch of this stuff so I mean uh, they appear everywhere the sinkholes appear if it's near the house or something you can see the 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 the, the old wall all the way <laughs> down so i mean if you see the sinkhole near the house you can show it immediately and uh, mm. look at this it's also this this place inside so look how many dirt and mud there so probably some of it uh, they just already cleaned this stuff up just to film it but imagine how many dirt was there and uh, at least 
how did it come inside so it probably flown so uh, from 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 other place i don't know because this was sealed from from above and they were just using this place as as a square as as, as we've seen on, on this one look there's a whole bunch of place here ancient and some ancient city here So, I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah, interesting. All this stuff is pretty safe. So, who would have just left all this stuff if they were living there? What happened to those people? Where are they? I mean, maybe they even excavating some people here, like right now. What are they doing, actually? Probably these Good. are just corpses of somebody, right? Could be. Yeah, just not showing it because it's just, you know, not very good to show. But this is very interesting one, definitely. Yep. And I'll probably show some more if we have time. Um, also wanted to show your examples, the, the ones you were showing. Let me do it quick let's see for example this one so it has some type of entrance over here right yep yeah this I can is a get good sign I can get inside actually next time yeah yeah this is a good sign you have to film from inside and see if those windows are bricked up from from inside so it was like originally a big window and now it's bricked up for 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 for, for the reason of just not being flooded by the rains and stuff like this okay yeah. let's see yep. next one Well, you see, this is a sign of reconstruction here, or probably constructing in, in several stages. As uh, the, the top floor has a lower uh, width and uh, height of of windows. Yeah. Something is definitely was done to this building, and this is this one right here is also a mark of being reconstructed. But to to look at the, over here. You have to be inside to be sure what's there, actually. Mm -hmm. We can't say for sure. But definitely, if you have at least two, like this sign of reconstruction and something that is not fitting like this, right? It doesn't fit into the logics. And you have the bricked up windows here, mm -hmm. right? But this right. is actually ab abandoned. Uh, right now, it's used as a basement, right? definitely it seems unused totally <laughs> right yeah. now but i can i think i can get inside the old building uh and and see what from inside looks because like it's, it's just not it's just not the window ditch that we originally see on most of moscow streets like calling it a window ditch but this is actually rebuilt and they made an entrance to this lower floor from outside for for some reason right <laughs> yeah it's not a window ditch but probably they made it out of the window because you know it doesn't look at, as a door either right so this no. is a good sign too that's probably the same building we've seen yeah from the main facade Mm -hmm. you have to check if there's an entrance somewhere over here maybe they have an, an entrance which is buried right now but for example this one this great house also has a sign of reconstruction over here or it, at least additional construction from the top so probably it could be used and if that was the the, the window before this entrance that then it could be a good sign 
but you have to check for for some street street view pictures from at least 17th century this also has a sign of reconstruction here or additional construction but i don't see any entrances from this side no can't say for sure what's going on here Oh, the mark of some explosion. Yeah, this is from the World War Two. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, this place is uh, near some pond or some lake or something. Yes. So this elevation decline could be due to this, you know, hillside uh location yes so, but these stairs sure. se seem to be new the stairs that you see yes there's definitely new so could be just the excavated facade side can't say for sure but look you don't have any windows on the walls here mm -hmm. so this is a uh, not very good okay this is not a window i believe right it is It was a window. Doesn't look ordinary. Well, it the windows that are buried supposed to look and be located rather the same or at least the same position as the top windows. Okay, and they have to match each other somehow. Yeah, I get it. So if you can see this window we have on the third floor and the second floor. So this is pretty good sign so they're just saying that we don't have any windows on that side except this narrow ones and these white ones so you should have filmed it from from the longer side this is a this is a you know the side <laughs> this is actually the side of the house yeah just film next time film film the 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 the, the wider wall side I think I, I uh, uploaded to you. Not sure. Uh, maybe the next one. Because next one was from inside. I, I went inside between those two buildings and I filmed the, the first floor and the stairs. Well, that... we, can, we, can, we can say that that's relevant, but rather have the the the, the weather the weather side of the house filmed okay Let's see i have like this here oh okay yeah this is from inside yeah let's go ahead and... okay yep that's what i'm saying yep and this one is has a little entrance type of ditch here also. yeah few windows yeah. And, and each one gets smaller and smaller up to the end yeah this one is good this so this is, is a, the same building you just turn turn it around the corner yeah yeah i see i see now i see now this is a good one definitely because you this is probably You know they build this uh, additional stuff after reconstruction usually because they cannot match the original entrances and so they have to do something like this you know this extra yeah. masonry extra space uh, and uh, also that could be an explanation for you know that season breaking stuff because you know on older pictures you see all these paintings this you see you don't see people in the winter clothes usually mm -hmm. at least i couldn't find any so uh probably this is uh the reason the reconstruction created this uh double doors system where you have this 
uh, inside a space where air is locking outside and inside you know air systems okay it's called um uh, by night double door yeah. yeah double door system yeah i'm saying tambur just to you know to stay stay uh, more keep more warm you know keep more energies and because they don't have they didn't have actually uh, cold weather as cold as we have right now mm -hmm. that's why they were always you know dressed like uh, guys in the sauna okay Mm -hmm. let's see so do you have any questions uh not really i just started walking around and uh i can see different interesting signs by the way not far from that building uh there is another one and uh there is a bank right right now in this building and uh yeah, banks they... love those buildings because of underground floors and all those multiple underground floors, you know, and, where they keep their storages at, you know. And uh, they have like main entrance, and then they uh, they built like a separate entrance for uh, currency exchange, and you 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 go straight from the ground to the underground, and you can see the facade side when you go inside inside from the street you you see the the wall of the building that goes you know underground and mm -hmm. um since uh, those buildings are pretty old you know they have this uh this shape masonry how do you call it the arc masonry arch arch, oh, arch yeah whatever <laughs> let yeah. it be arch let it be arch okay now let's see So I have many interesting places to shoot, you know. Yeah, you should you something. should do that. So I think you're doing well. Just I just wanted to tell you that this second floor entrance is also a very good sign. We have okay. like you know something out of you know out of uh, image, which is like you know breaking breaking the image of architect. Mm -hmm. Let me show you some more stuff here. Let's see. Also, this is excavated, you know, that level over here. And even this excavated has windows which are buried, you know. Mm -hmm. So it just excavated one one level, one story. Yeah because they needed this place uh, to be this level no yeah, they so didn't they, need it they made a wall <laughs> yeah that's called the slurry wall <laughs> slurry wall just to keep mm -hmm. you know stuff from that side yeah also this masonic signs oc and i's you know we are right now in the era of oc and i where everything is uh, you know kept in one device and everything is um, well known so this is like a, a little space where they cleaned up I think and just you know remove all the soil because it's like a a pool which is covered by slurry walls and all this place is still with these underground buried windows and even some of them are bricked up so that's a very interesting area they like to oh, over here also interesting case i've been showing it when the ground collapsed near the house the car was parked and it was mm. just stuck <laughs> and look at yeah. those windows over there 
this is ridiculous, you know. You know, I have a question. Until 1945, Germans lived in Königsberg, in my city. Uh, could they excavate it already? They sure before did, that? because, you know, before that, it was like 60, 70 years to do that. So probably they did it. And did it a lot better than Russians did it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Could could they also bury it? Some, in some cases, like this. Uh, they just... usually they usually just level, uh, because they have to take this soil somewhere, you know. Just need, so they just level in stuff just to make it more level in, and uh, this is how they hide the evidence. Cut those mud flood hills as we call them and you know leveling stuff just raising the roads and stuff like this okay dumping it into the areas of uh, you know russians did a lot worse because probably a lot more to cover up and uh, moscow is just a little bigger than i think than Königsberg was always bigger so yeah Probably amount of this evidence is enormous here, and we're just gonna see more and more and more cases like this, mm. where it's just ridiculous. Like I had also uh, some photographs here. Let's see. Yeah. So what they actually do is just the closing or breaking up the windows just for or raising uh, the level. You know. Yep. Hey, look at this excavated versus non-excavated. <laughs> Do you know where, uh, which which places oh, are? I was talking about entrances to the second floor. Here we go. Just, just have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, over here. So they decided to make an entrance on the second floor, or maybe third. Yeah. Okay. Do you know if there, uh, uh, where on Earth there are many places like that, especially you know like well maybe all I know, all I know is Moscow right now was in Saint Petersburg a couple of times filming, and also just the footage that I get and receive. Look how many underground spaces there. So right now it's used as a parking spot. Just. just just enormous places underground. So all, all Moscow is well known of all, of those undergrounds, but you know, they always been closed in general. So you cannot just go there for free. But you know, since the nineties, about a bunch of these movements started as digger diggers movement. Mm -hmm. Those guys who go underground illegally and you know sneak around different places subways systems tunnels and so on okay. so might as well go on some of that illegal excursion as soon as this madness stops actually maybe go. maybe right now is the right time <laughs> nobody's bothering <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you find somebody who's saying, "Give me a QR code. I want oh, you yeah. to on the ground." <laughs> <laughs> so mostly, I think every city has, like Nizhny Novgorod, also has huge, huge, enormous excavation marks in cities. Even on Napa, I was at the Black Sea. I saw, I saw this evidence there. Too. So. This is how it is, guys. Um, I think we can stop it for today. Uh, 
the, the just a short video just to how to distinguish mud flooded buildings from not mud flooded buildings uh, so generally it's supposed to be old at least 18th 19th beginning of 19th century uh, because it happened somewhere in the 20s of uh, 19th century so it could be 1801 1802 1803 whatever um, and it also can be something older built on the ruins so-called ruins but actually just ex just buried building right yeah how about if if you guys send us uh uh footages like that maybe in your city you have something similar what do you say doors doors from the windows uh, doors f uh, on the second floor uh buried bricked up windows and i don't know window ditches window ditches excavation marks like levels or this like concrete concrete bricked up windows you know <laughs> as you can see there were windows here and right now it's just you know facade something hidden do entrances have, do you have like an email in description where maybe somebody would yeah, like people to... know how to find me i have an email in the description of my channel and i have a facebook page facebook group everything is you can find on my channel uh, about so um, it, it would be great if somebody would you know so many people footages. send me so many stuff you just okay. i have a facebook full of uh saved footage evidence list yeah so if we have some time maybe next week we can show you all this safely just a bunch of this you know examples people share on facebook with me and uh would be nice to you know show it to the people once in a while yeah okay and get some new ones too <laughs> yeah yeah thanks a lot people and see you guys later thank you bye 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 see ya